This video is part of a series about um, the spinal cord, spinal column, the vertebrae, and their discs. If you want to see any of the other videos that I have in this series, there's a description um, or there's a link in the description below. So we're talking about normal anatomy and we're talking about the intervertebral disc and it looks like a jelly donut, fibrous on the outside, gelatinous on the inside. Now in normal anatomy, these guys don't have normal arterial flow in, meaning there's no, there's no artery that goes in and a vein that goes out. So it's not like a normal like muscle where the artery goes in and gives blood flow to the area and a vein pulls fluid out. These guys get hydration through compression and osmotic pressures. So as I am upright, when I first wake up in the morning, each one of these discs is a little bit bigger because while I was asleep, I didn't have gravity compressing me and they expand. And because of that expansion, it creates a little bit of a negative pressure on the inside and it draws fluid in. And that fluid is what brings nutrients to the disc. When I wake up in the morning, I'm actually a little bit taller than I would have been before I went to sleep. And how do I know this intuitively? Because in the morning when I get into my car, when I sit down and I was in the same position as I was last night when I got out of the car, I have to take the rear view mirror and I have to angle it up just a little bit because I'm a little bit taller. And by the end of the day, I'm gonna to have to take that rear view mirror and I'm gonna to have to angle it down just a little bit because I get a little bit shorter. So within the first 30 minutes of waking, about 50% of that extra fluid that I accumulated overnight gets pushed out from my upper body compressing. And then by 12 noon, all the extra fluid is out. So if you want to be taller, like on your uh, roster, if you're a football player, make them measure you in the morning, not at the end of the night. So that's kind of normal disc anatomy and how it draws fluid in, pushes fluid out, all for nutrients, sits in the middle and allows for normal movement and is still protective of the spinal cord in conjunction with the vert vertebra.